I'll be showing you how to use some recording capture software on your computer so you can capture what you made in Unity and put it online. So we just need to capture it. The way I do this is I use a tool called OBS. This one is free. So what you're going to want to do is create a new section for a new scene, essentially, which is what you're going to be recording for Unity. You want to add a, the source display capture to be that of monitor. In my case, it's the Cinti. You want to make sure that your output of the recordings can be an MP4. MP4 is probably the best format you can use for outputting to social media and other stuff. It converts the best. You want your recording quality to be the same as the stream that you're recording at. Your base resolution to be 1920 by 1080. And you want the output scale to be essentially what is 4K. And that would be at 3840 by 2160. And you want your downscale filter to be by cubic. It's going to be the, like, the cleanest, like sharpest view, in my opinion. And you want your FPS to be 60. This is all like the ideal settings you want for your project. Once you've done that, you can record your scene. So with Unity, the way you're going to want to go about doing this is you want to play the scene. Once you're playing it back, you can start recording. With OBS, you can hit the start recording and that'll record your playback. So I've recorded the scene now. And what I'm going to want to do is launch After Effects. But you can use other editing tools. It doesn't really matter. Once I've opened up the scene, I just drag in the recording that I just made. You just drag it into the bottom bar here. Now, before I even do any cutting, I want to crop this so that I can view only the scene that's been recorded. This little space is all that matters to me. So what I want to do, I'm going to go into composition settings. And what you want to adjust is the width and height. Okay, so this is how it would look at its resolution. All that's necessary for us to do is edit into two identical locations so that it loops seamlessly. And ideally, you want this to last less than 15 seconds. Twitter has a 15 second limit. If I end up making a video that's longer than 15 seconds, it won't loop seamlessly on the application. I personally like to do squared spaces. So my composition would actually be something closer to this. The width would be much shorter. And we can actually go with a smaller width when it's almost perfectly squared out just because we're focusing on the character. And this was the big bonus of the camera following the character. No matter where the character goes, they're always within focus. So that was the big win is I didn't lose out on anything here. I can just keep going with it. So what we'll do is now we'll find the locations we want. And then you bring these bars all the way in. This larger one is really where the cutoff is. After that point, it won't play back. We got it looping smoothly. Look at that. We got our eye. So now once we've done this, we go in composition, we do add to media encoder. This is also an Adobe thing. What you want to do is set it as H.264 and match the source bit rate. And then you click play. Once you select your location and you named it, and it's going to encode it. And that'll be it. I hope you like what I taught you here. But don't forget, there's a lot more to learn. Subscribe to the channel and check my links for my course down below. I'll see you soon.